Good morning, my little nature lovers. Jody Shremblin here, your educational coordinator with Clary Gardens, back again for another story time. So this morning, I was sitting at my kitchen table and I was looking out at my bird feeders and, you know, thinking I'm going to see birds. And I look out and there are two gray squirrels on one of my feeders and they're spinning around and they're hanging by their back feet and they're getting in the feeder and filling their bellies and... I know sometimes this frustrates people, but I find it entertaining because I just sat and laughed because they just eat till their bellies are full and then they, they scurry down and they're off. So I thought today I would share a story with you about Gray Squirrel at Pacific Avenue. This is another one of our Smithsonian backyard books. So at the end, we'll have some like really nice factual information about our gray squirrels. But it's also kind of fun to read stories about animals that we see pretty frequently, especially up here in Ohio. So this book is by Jerry Harrington, and it's illustrated by Michelle Chopin Roosevelt. And it is Gray Squirrel at Pacific Avenue. All right, let's get on with our adventure. The October sun pours into the small backyard of a pink house on Pacific Avenue. A furry head pokes out of a nest of small leafy branches high in the live oak tree. Gray Squirrel has just woken up. He scurries out to a branch and startles a kinglet, which flies away. Gray squirrel's over here, and our kinglet, our bird, is over here. Scratching his ear with his hind foot, gray squirrel watches white crowned sparrows feasting on bird seed at the feeder below. A scrub jay, scrub jay screeches from a manzanita bush, nibbling on its dark red berries. Gray squirrel is hungry too. He leaps through the tree crown like an acrobat. The branches bob under his feet. He hears the familiar bark of the brown dog that lives behind the fence in the yard next door. Gray Squirrel rushes to the ground, spiraling down the trunk, head first. Have we all seen that? The way that they actually go down trees head first. So there he is scratching his ear. And there's our birdies eating. Sparrows crowd the feeder, spilling a few seeds on the grass. Gray Squirrel finds some millet and munches, but above him, the feeder holds even more tasty seeds. He scrambles up the pole. The birds flutter away. One perches nearby and scolds him. So probably squawks at him a little bit. Gray Squirrel dips his pointed nose into the bird seed and eats, scattering the sea holes. Too close to the perch's edge, he suddenly slips and loses his footing. He hangs onto the edge of the feeder with one paw. Dangling, he manages to reach with his other paw and pull himself back up. They do that on my feeder. You can probably hear one of my birds at my window feeder right now. With his keen eyes, he checks the backyard for predators. The yard looks empty. Gray Squirrel jumps to the ground, but he has made a mistake. He comes nose to nose with an orange cat who is hiding under the manzanita bush. The cat's tail twitches. Gray Squirrel bounds towards the oak. The cat springs, but just as he does, Gray Squirrel leaps high onto the trunk. There's our kitty cat after our Gray Squirrel. Got away. The cat sprints up the tree, but Gray Squirrel is gone. He has rocketed from a branch, landing on the fence five feet away. Into the next yard he dives. With quick breaths, Gray Squirrel darts across the strange lawn. Here's our kitty cat. Didn't catch our squirrel. Behind him, the snarling brown dog stands ready to attack. The dog charges, but Gray Squirrel springs up an apricot tree. He hurries through the branches and vaults over the dog's head onto the fence. 
Along the fence top, he runs, finally, leaping back to the oak in his yard. Gets away from the dog, too. I know my dogs like to chase the squirrels. To no avail, they have not caught a squirrel. All this scurrying has made Gray Squirrel very hungry. He hears a chipmunk rummaging for acorns in the dry leaves below. The cat is nowhere to be seen. Gray Squirrel scoots down the oak and chases the chipmunk away. From behind a rock, the chipmunk's chipmunk chitters at him crossly. Stealing my acorns. There's our little chipmunk. We have the stripes on him. Gray Squirrel snatches a shiny brown acorn in his paws. With sharp front teeth, he cuts the hard shell in half and devours the nut inside. After finishing five more acorns, he digs a little hole in the ground and drops in another acorn and covers it with earth. He will save that nut for later. There's our upset chipmunk over here. There's our gray squirrel. sun is hot and gray squirrel is full. He jumps onto the fence for a view of the yard. The orange cat is nowhere to be found. Next door the brown dog has fallen asleep. Pigeons nibble politely at the fallen seeds. Gray squirrel raises his tail over his head for shade. Then he licks his front paws and washes his nose and ears. He combs his fur with his teeth and claws. The backyard is at peace. Our pigeon. And there's our sleepy gray squirrel. Screech! The screen door flies open and the pigeons scatter. Out of the house bounds the orange cat. On the fence top, gray squirrel freezes. His enemy spots him and pricks up his ears. He leaps onto the fence, ready for some fun. Gray Squirrel searches for an escape. He springs to the oak, spreading all four feet wide. He flattens his body and stretches his bushy tail behind him like a parachute. He glides to a small branch and climbs to a higher limb. The cat jumps onto the base of the tree, watching. Gray Squirrel fluffs his tail, holds it straight up behind him, and quickly flicks it. He stamps his hind feet. Stay back, kitty. The orange cat crouches to spring up the tree. Ruff, ruff. The brown dog suddenly charges through a loose board he has discovered in the fence. The cat hisses, the dog crowds. They whisk around the base of the tree until the cat makes a dash for the front yard. The dog follows close behind. Gray squirrel watches calmly from his lofty limb. Kind of laughing, I think, at the fact that the kitty cat's the one getting chased now. I'll sit up here in my tree. He takes a deep breath. Finding a comfortable spot, Gray Squirrel relaxes, spreading his body out on the branch with his tail draped over his back. Then he closes his eyes for a peaceful rest high in the live oak tree in the backyard of the pink house on Pacific Avenue. Sleepy Gray Squirrel. There he is. He looks so peaceful. So about the gray squirrel. Gray squirrels live throughout the eastern United States and have been introduced on the west coast. They are found in forests, parks, and backyards where food is plentiful. With a diet consisting primarily of seeds, nuts, fruit, and insects, gray squirrels often store food for times of shortage by burying nuts in the ground. They locate them again through their highly developed sense of smell. Appropriately named gray squirrels have fur that blends with the gray bark of trees in which they live, helping to protect them from predators. Their large bushy tails are used for balance, to signal other animals, and for warmth during, their warm during a winter's nest. 
Best known as an acrobat, gray squirrels can leap up to four feet from the ground to a tree trunk. They can run along the top or bottom of branches and can even hang by their hind feet. When they jump long distances, up to 12 feet from tree to tree, they spread their bodies out with their tails flattened for balance. So that was our story about gray squirrel on Pacific Avenue. So next time you're in your backyard, look for your gray squirrels and see if they can jump and fly like the acrobats in our book. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next week for our next story. Thank you very much. Oh, and this is also brought to you free by our donators. Um, and if you would like to join our large group of people that donate to our Clary Gardens Foundation, you can go ahead and click on the donate button. Thank you so much. Bye.